Hello and welcome to BTEC Tech Award Bite Size Series. In this short video, we'll be talking about how the overall qualification grade is determined for BTEC Tech Award 2022 qualifications. Here are some key points for your information. Learners receive raw marks for each component assessment. The raw mark is the number of marks a learner achieves on an exam or assessment. Raw marks for each component are converted to uniform marks based on the scale published in the specification. This is done to standardise marks from one series to another. These qualifications are fully compensatory meaning learners can achieve a final grade through any combination of uniform marks from any component. There is no level one pass requirement in any component. A grade U, unclassified, in any component is considered an outcome and will allow learners to be awarded the qualification if they have gained sufficient uniform marks for a qualification grade. Let's take a closer look at this. Firstly, let's see the UMS and grade tables published in the specification. For each component grade, there are a range of uniform marks. For example, a level two pass in the internal components would give learners 54 to 62 uniform marks, depending on the raw marks they have achieved. Uniform marks from all components are added together to determine the overall qualification level uniform marks and the corresponding grade. Please also note that learners achieving a U grade will still receive uniform marks for that component. This is added to the overall qualification grade calculation. This is what is meant by the qualification being fully compensatory. This information is for art and design practice only, as it's different to the other specifications. Art and design practice has two components, unlike the rest of the suite with three components. Accordingly, there are less uniform marks. Overall UMS is out of 200, internal component UMS is 120, and the external component UMS is 80. To determine the UMS and component grades corresponding to the raw marks achieved for the each internal and external component, grade boundaries are published after each series on results days. You can access the grade boundaries through this link on our website. If you were using grade boundaries to predict learner grades, please remember that grade boundaries are set after each series and therefore differences can occur in future grade boundaries. There is a useful video on how grade boundaries are set linked in this slide. The raw marks to UMS converter will help you easily convert raw marks to uniform marks and the component grade. Here's how grade boundaries look. This example is from construction. As you can see, the grade boundary shows the minimum raw marks and the corresponding uniform mark for each grade. Raw marks and uniform marks are on a sliding scale. To determine the exact uniform marks, the raw marks to UMS converter can be used and you can access this in the link on this page. There are no grade boundaries available for the external components yet, as grade boundaries are determined once awarding takes place for a particular series. The first series will be in January 24 or June 24, depending on the subject. Creative subjects have one external assessment opportunity per year in the June series. The rest of the suite have two external assessment opportunities in January and June series. Please also note that the terminal assessment rule applies to the external assessment.
Let's take a look now at some infographics on how grading works and how the overall grade is calculated. Firstly, each component of the qualification contributes to the overall qualification grade. Learners are awarded raw marks for their assessment performance. After each series, grade boundaries are set for each component, determining the uniform marks and component grades corresponding to the raw marks achieved. Component level uniform marks are added together to determine the qualification level uniform marks and the grade it is equivalent to. Same logic here, but for art and design practice with two components only. We will now have a look at some examples demonstrating how the overall qualification grade is determined using the uniform marks achieved in each component. The aim of these examples is to show how the overall qualification grade is determined using the uniform marks achieved in each component. And in this example, the learner achieves a level two distinction overall. Please note that grades and marks used in these examples are for illustrative purposes only and therefore grayed out so that the focus is on the determination of the overall qualification grade. After each assessment series, grade boundaries are set to determine uniform marks that correspond to the raw marks achieved in that particular series. The raw marks to UMS Converter is a great tool to see this conversion. In this example, the learner achieves a level two pass overall. And in this example, the learner achieves a level one distinction overall. And this is an art and design practice example, which has two components only, achieving a level two pass overall. Finally, if you wish to discuss anything further, the subject advisors are here at hand to support you with any issues or questions you may have. You can reach the individual subject advisor details from the page linked on this slide. Thank you. We hope that you found this guidance useful.